Yo, what is up everyone? Hope you're doing well. I just want to do a video today on some military surplus pickups that I recently got. I think they're really cool for streetwear and for tech wear. But what's cool with military surplus items is usually you get some really unique pieces for pretty cheap. And obviously they're made of high quality too because they're made for war. But also another perk that I like about military surplus is that they have a lot of cool neutral colors and earth tones, obviously for camouflage, of course. Neutral colors and earth tones is something I try to incorporate into my outfits quite often. I think they look really good. So I do have a couple of other military surplus pieces. I do have that US military fleece jacket that I did a video on not too long ago. And I wear the BDU cargos quite often. Uh, one of them are actually um, military surplus. The other one was like a Rothko knockoff. But anyways. So most men in my family have been in the army. And then there's me, who hasn't and probably won't. But I like clothes though, and I like fashion, and I can help style the pieces maybe. Obviously I'm not trying to be like stolen valor or anything. Clearly, it's not what I'm going for here, but anyways, some really cool pieces in here. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so for the first piece I wanna talk about, uh, my girlfriend got me this for Christmas, and it's the most expensive piece uh, in this video, this is at $70, but this is a US military surplus tanker jacket. I think it's a CVC, I'll link it below, of course. So it's basically a bomber jacket, but it's tweaked a little bit with a slightly different collar. But this is made up of a flame resistant fabric as well, which is pretty cool. No, I'm not gonna test it though. I'm not going to light myself on fire for a video, even though I am tempted, anyways. So just talking through the piece here, it is a little bit uh, of a boxy fit, of course. I mean, like these are military surplus pieces. They're not really all that fitted. So you do have just like a standard zipper going up at the middle. But what's really cool, and probably one of my favorite things about this jacket is the collar because there's different ways that you can style it and have the collar. So the most common way that I wear it is just with the collar popped up. But however, you can fold it down so it looks a little bit more formal, kind of more like a standard collar. But what's really cool about this is when you pop it up, you can, it has this extra tab, you can Velcro it around and it secures it to the other side, which is really cool. I just enjoy how many different ways you can style just the collar itself. Now, other features, you have two normal like hand pockets. The only other pocket is on the left arm. You can unzip it and then put like paperwork in there, or pins in the other one. Um, but other than that, the cuffs and waist are elastic. And then the whole inside, it is quilted, so it's actually quite warm as well. It's not water resistant or anything, but it's flame resistant. I think this is a really cool piece to style, um, not just in more techier fits, but also in streetwear fits. So the techwear fit I put together for this video, I just have my tapered 511 cargo pants, SF Air Force Ones, and then just a Uniqlo heat tech shirt tucked in, and then a, a Cobra belt. Because this jacket is a little bit more on the crop side, I think it's kind of cool, maybe once it warms up a little bit, to have it with crop pants, I don't know. But I think this is a pretty cool kind of uniform fit. You can put a bag on on this as well, but I think generally with bomber jackets, um, or tanker jackets, excuse me. Backpacks will look pretty good with it as well. Now, the streetwear fit I put together with this I actually really like because of all the earth tones in it. So I'm wearing just some uh, straight cut, washed out kind of black jeans, Jordan 1s, and then kind of a thermal shirt that I got from like Urban Outfitters like three, four years ago. I don't know, but it's, I like all the tones in the whole outfit. Um, so I think a piece like this is very versatile. Um, and it's actually quite warm as well. Now, if you're looking at it, um, and it's it's very wrinkled because I think it's been folded up in the warehouse for probably at least 15 years. Cause I tried to do a little bit of research on this piece and it looks like it probably came from around the eighties to early nineties. Now for sizing, I'm six foot two and pretty skinny and I got a size large and it fits me pretty good. It is a little bit wide. If you look on the inside tag, there's always on military surplus items, there's always like measurement guides to it. So the large, the chest is 41 to 45 inches and height is 67 inches to 71 inches. So I'm actually a little bit too tall for this jacket according to this tag here, but I kind of like how it's cropped on me. I feel, I think the medium is the same exact length. It's just a little less wide. So you do get those buffer zones in it. But another thing with this jacket is you can get a large short or a large long or a medium long or a medium short. So just try and look at the tags, look at the sizing chart before you buy. But yeah, I would say it fits pretty much like a standard large bomber jacket. 
jacket. So the next piece I want to talk about is this M65 liner jacket. Now, a lot of other brands have taken inspiration from this original piece. Uh, I think REI, I think they have kind of knocked off this same style and then have a slightly different version of it. Uh, the Madewell, which is a women's brand, they have a version of this jacket as well. However, I just thought it'd be kind of cool to pick up the original and use it as a pretty cool layering piece. Um, or even just like a really lightweight jacket for springtime, early summer. Now, one thing to note is this thing is very, very boxy and the sleeves are cropped because of course this is designed to be buttoned into another jacket. Um, it's not designed to be worn really on its own, but you know, civilians can try and style it like this. But what's really cool about this is just how low profile the, like there's no collar or anything, quite um, a bit thin piece. So it's really good for layering. Um, the outfit I did put together with this, it's pretty simple. I just have some Rothko BDU cargos, Vans, and then a just black shirt. And then I threw this on over it. And then uh, it, you can put on a shell jacket over it as well. So I put on my acronym jacket over this. I think it might be kind of cool is if you cut off the sleeves and then have it as a vest, just because I really like how the call, there's no collar and it lays really flat. So it would be a nice layering piece. For sizing with this, this is a size medium. And I, again, am six foot two and pretty skinny. I know my friend did mention he won one of these, but I think I might give this to him. He would just wear it more than I would. But for the last item in this video, this is actually a British military surplus commando sweater. And what's really cool about this is unlike a lot of military surplus items that tend to be a little bit boxier, this one's actually designed to be quite slim and hug your body. So if you're a skinny guy, this should fit you pretty nicely. Um, I even sized up to an extra large. But this was $30 and it's 100% wool. Um, and I think it's a really unique piece. Um, I really like how it is a vintage item as well. You do have some patches on the shoulders, that's kind of a nylon canvas, and then even on the elbows where you have high wear areas that is patched on there just to help with durability. So if you do look at these, definitely size up, and if you're a bigger guy, maybe size up maybe two sizes. I sized up only one size to an extra large. Usually in sweaters, I get a large and I got an extra large in this and it fits me pretty good, but again, I am skinny. This is actually quite a long sweater, but because it is slim, you can kind of just fold it underneath, kind of ar around the waist. And then these sleeves are designed to just be cuffed up one, just like that. But I think this is a very good layering piece and it's very warm as well. So for the outfit I styled for this video, I do have just the 511 Tactical Tapered Cargos, SF Air Force Ones, this sweater, and then I just threw on my acronym jacket over it. This is a great sweater for layering because it is so slim, and I absolutely love the deep olive color as well. So yeah, there's not too much else I can say about this sweater. I mean, it's pretty simple. I love the way it fits. I love the small patches on the elbows, um, and it's a really good layering piece, and I love the color. So yeah, those are the three three pieces is that I wanted to feature in this video. Definitely my favorite two are the tanker jacket and then this commando sweater. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these. And what's, again, like I said earlier, uh, military surplus items are usually very high quality, so they last a long time. Like for example, this is a 100% wool and it was like 30 bucks. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, let me know what your favorite piece was or how you would style something. If you're bored one day, you can always swing by your military surplus store if you have one in your town, or there's a really big online presence for a lot of retailers that have a really large selection of military surplus items. You get some really cool pants, you can get camping gear, you can get jackets, sweaters, shirts, a whole lot of different things um, for some really good deals too. So I just think it's something to check out. When shopping around, I would just try and make sure that you get an actual military surplus piece and not like a more of a knockoff one. Now, if you have like trouble finding like an actual British military surplus sweater, you could always check out Rothko. They have very, very similar ones. However, it's not 100% wool. Um, they mixed in with some acrylic fibers as well. So it's a little bit less itchy, but then again, it's not as thick or as warm. So that's just something to think about, but Anyways guys, I will see you in a video pretty soon. Hope the holidays are going well for you. And so have a good one. I'll see you soon.